Yeah, I'd like to read from um, the Ron Suskin book, um, The Way of the World. Um, and I, this very, the very forward of the book is, a, I think, a very interesting take on George Bush and analysis. We all kind of, I guess, suspect this or have an inkling of this. But here... He basically says Bush is, can't, is, can't, he can't analyze things. He can't deal with strategic. He's got to go with impulse and instinct. So let me quote. This is from page five. <laughs> Bush, is, Bush is a guy who needs to make things personal. It's how he's always organized a complex world. And he felt that he developed a bond with Putin. He's talking about Vladimir Putin of Russia. When, this, uh, when the CIA made its offer... Uh, his response says he didn't. Uh, he don't wiretap a friend. They were talking about wiretapping, and uh, a conversation between him and uh, Vladimir Putin. Condoleezza Rice said it was too risky. It might be discovered. Uh, the CIA said if it was, it would probably heighten Putin's respect for Bush. Well, Putin was a KGB, ex KGB, so uh, they knew the games. He. The, he, he, Putin knew more about games than Bush, far more, especially uh, between countries. Uh, Bush settled it. It was a gut decision, no dice. You know, and Bush always listens to his gut. Oh, that's me, not... That's, that's, quoting again. Uh, this was an early sign of an extraordinarily uh, extraordinary dilemma, one that would come to define America's posture in the world. Bush's powerful confidence in his instinct... It might be called a uh, compensatory strength, making up for other areas of deficit. He's not particularly reflective. He doesn't think in large strategic terms. Yeah, he's not really, he's not really capable of being president. <laughs> oh, that's me. Back to the book. Quote. Um. Um. He's he's never he's never had to uh, had much taste for the basic analytical rigors embraced by the modern professional class. What he does is size up people swiftly. He trusts his eyes, his ears, his touch, and acts. Oh, does Bush act? Oh, that's me. Back to the book. While uh, he has an affinity for stepping inside the shoes of others, his metier is often brutally transactional rather than investigative or empathetic. He is looking for ways to get something to uh, get someone to do something he wants, and quickly. This headlong, impatient uh, energy fueled his rise. As anyone, anyone knows, after watching him strong arm uh, a big money contributor, parse f friend from four, toss a script, toss a script, uh, and preach heart to heart to supporters on the Republican base. It's how Bush. Like many bullies who've risen to great heights, became the president. So we basically have a bully who can't really think him way, way through. Um, now, why, well, why do I get, get on this? I'm, I'm just uh, telling you what kind of president we have, reminding you guys. And that uh, we got another guy, John McCain, who thinks that George Bush, this bullying worldview is going to work. Yeah, be tough, be a bully, be even be kind of dumb and ignorant. And as, as Obama says, be proud of your dumbness and your ignorance. So, yeah, if you want a Bush third term, vote uh, Johnny McCain. So can I say anything more about the book? It's a good, well, from what I read, it's, it's scary, uh, the book, Ron Suskin, but... Um, yeah, Bush is our bully president, and now we're stuck. We can't. We don't know what to do with Russia. Uh, we don't know what to do with China. We don't know what to do with Iran, and our military is broken. Okay, night, night, America. <laughs>